Shavu Atova, good luck. I want to share with you a story about Rabbi Akiva, the famous Rabbi Akiva, who lived through so much and one of our famous sages, greatest teachers of all time. You know, at the age of 40 is when he began to learn the Aleph Bays, learning with little kids, together with little children, till eventually he became the greatest rabbi of his time with thousands and thousands of students. Thanks to him, we have Torah today. But at one point in his early career as a student, he was on his way to the study hall, and he came upon a body, an elected body without any ID, and it's called a mess mitzvah, a mitzvah to take care of this body and treat it in a respectful way. Jewish law dictates that you should bury that person right at the spot where you find them. They, that's their burial spot. But Rikita was unaware of this, and instead he transferred the body to the nearest cemetery, managed not to run into anybody the whole time. So he dug a grave and he buried the body and arrived hot and sweaty, but elated to the study hall kind of proud of himself, and he announced what he had just done, a big mitzvah. He had personally schlepped the body that he found on the way and brought it to a Jewish burial in a cemetery, and everyone gave him over the head, and they said, you ignoramus, don't you know that the body is meant to be buried at the spot where the body was found? And they gave him over the head about his ignorance. Anyways, years later, Rabbi Akiva became Rabbi Akiva, 24,000 students, the greatest rabbi of his time, and some malcontents, I guess, who couldn't perhaps stand the honor, were commenting in Rabbi Akiva's presence in his earshot, you think he's so great, do you know what he did in his youth? They began to relate this uh, experience and this mistake that he had made. And others tried to quiet him down and say, sha, 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 don't, you know, it's not respectful to the rabbi. Rabbi Akiva did hear it, and he said, no, 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 no need to silence him, no need to bury this incident and no need to not let me hear it, but I'll tell you the truth. That moment was a very critical turning point in my life. That day when I walked into the Beit Medrash full of myself, proud, glad for the opportunity to do a mitzvah, only to discover that I had not quite done a mitzvah, and that it was due to my lack of knowledge, my lack of learning, or lack of study, that was the moment that convinced me, that inspired me, that motivated me to give this Torah study my best so that I would know what I'm supposed to do in this world. So far from being an embarrassing moment that needs to be covered up and ignored, this is actually a turning point in my life, and I could perhaps say I am the person I am today because of that mistake that motivated me to turn around. So not everyone is like me where life is just smooth from the moment you were born. You know, you choose the right parents, you choose the right in-laws, and life is just great. It doesn't always work that way. But we have to know that when something doesn't go our way, we can turn it around and make it a turning point in our life, getting us in an even better direction. Have a great week. Be well.